All right, let's try it. Forming the duties of his office. Of Digby C. Caesar. Well, hey, buddy. Thanks for stopping by. I am Digby, and today we are back in the long dark. Now, I believe our plan from the end of the last episode was we were going to go over to Jackrabbit Island and see if we could find sneakers. But I actually went back and watched, I think it was a couple episodes ago, we were actually in there, and I looked around on the video, and I did not see any sneakers. So, I'm thinking, best bet for shoes is probably going to be in town like the gas station and if memory serves me correct there's actually a couple houses over there that we haven't searched yet at all so you never know we might get bullets it's also a possible moose spawn so who knows maybe we'll even see a moose but yeah i think we're going to or actually i'm going to grab something real quick to eat yes please we'll have a quick drink just kind of check all our stuff all right yeah we got plenty of water should be good for food I think, actually, what am I carrying on me for food? I've got, oh yeah, we got chips and MREs and all kinds of stuff. We should be fine. In fact, Digby, you really don't need the extra kilo. How about you drop those two? Actually, I'm going to drop the beans. We can drop those beans. We can drop those. How many cans of beans do I have? Jesus. I have all of the beans, apparently. No, I didn't want to eat it. Cancel. Thank you. Good God. Ah. Oh. Okay, yeah, it's going to be one of those days, I have a feeling. This is weird. It's actually been completely quiet out here. I haven't seen or heard, well, apart from that deer, I haven't seen or heard anything. Are you actually up on those logs? Oh, yeah, he was. It's actually kind of spooky. Oh, I had another idea, too. I'm going to duck over to that ice hut in front of the... Uh, misanthropes island we're just going to see if maybe the bear is around because there was something i wanted to try and i completely forgot about it in the last episode when we saw him so yeah if he's over there might do a little bit of bear science as well i figure it's worth a look and then we'll hit town after that okay we are here and lo and behold so is mr the bear so now all we got to do is get him to come after us Come here, Mr. Bear. Hello. Do you smell me yet? Come on, smell me. Bear. Bear. You wouldn't happen to be related to that wolf from the... There he comes. Um, he sounds like he wants to get here in a hurry, so... I think we're gonna maybe... Oh, nope, never mind. Oh, it's gonna take bloody forever to get him back there. Oh, hello, there's an arrow here. I don't remember shooting it, but I must have done. Come on. Come on, dum-dum. Well, I mean, I could just try it. I'm kind of curious, basically, if I can shoot him really quick. Come on. Come on, let's make sure we're headed back towards the hut. We are. Okay, come on, Mr. Bear, come on. Okay, yeah, we are really close, so I just gotta get in front of this door. Oh, the there's a book in there. That must be one of my old books. Come on, the bear. I need him fairly close just to make sure I can hit him. Because I'm pretty good, but I'm not sure I'm that good. Alright, let's try it. Uh-oh, we're out of ammo. <laughs> yeah, let's just uh, reload that real quick, shall we? Tell you what, that'll get your heart going. Okay, I'm going to holster this. I don't know how many times I hit him in that, but I can't imagine. I saw at least two or three. 
Oh, there's a wolf over there, too. Hello, Mr. The Wolf. Now, bear, where? Oh, he's way the hell over there. Ah, oh, damn it. I tell you what, cost me a few bullets, but it was worth it just to find out. Oh, he bled a lot. I can imagine there must be a trail of it running back this way. Hopefully we get lucky and he dies out on the ice. Okay, I count five wolves. I'm thinking... Might go into town the long way here. And I don't have that many bullets left. As soon as I fire one bullet, they're all gonna friggin' scatter anyway. But, pretty good odds at least one of them's gonna scatter right back into town. Alright, yeah, well, apparently that's gonna be moot. One, two, three, four... Yep, five of the bloody things. Come on, then. Let's do it. Oh, shoot. Alright. Look at that wolf run. That was really weird. <laughs> yep, they're all headed out. Friggin' right back through town. Well, here's a thought, Digby. How about we get inside real quick? Before they decide to come back. Uh, I hope like hell there are some bullets in here, because we just wasted a ton of them. Okay, nothing in there. Wasn't really expecting it. A uh, friggin' book that's not an actual useful book. I thought I saw something there, but I didn't. Got a can of dog food. One good thing about that, we can eat it. Our fridge and freezer gonna be empty. This will get some lantern fuel. Okay, how much water's in the toilet? You know what? Let's just take all of that. I see a pair of wool socks down there on the floor. Those are always welcome. Something's gotta go. Yeah, your bad attitude, Dave. Okay, nothing in the medicine shelf. Don't care about newspaper. Did I see? Yes, I did see something else. More dog food. Cool. That's empty. Oh, we haven't looked in here yet, have we? I think I can use this. No, Dave, actually you can't. We're just kind of hoarding stuff now. Alright, nothing in any of the cabinets, apart from the disinfectant and the beans. Okay, I think we found pretty much everything there is to find in the cabinets, from the looks of it. Yeah, those are all empty. Uh, microwave, that's always a good call. Yes, thank you. And just for the sake of completeness, we will search the overheads. Nope, no joy. Alright, is there any bullets upstairs by any chance? Please, 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 can there be some bullets up here? Oh, got a big screen TV. We got a dead guy. You wouldn't happen to have any shoes on you, would you, buddy? Is it food or...? Yeah, it's food. Uh, don't care about the parka. Just would really like to find a pair of sneakers. Or boots, I'm not fussy. Anything I can tear up and get leather out of, that'll make me happy. Okay, nothing in there. Nothing in the box. Danada. Danada. And Danada. I would love to say I'm surprised, but I'm not. Oh, excuse me, dude. Oh, did I look in the... Yes, I did. Now, should I actually... Ah, oh, we got four bullets. That's plenty. All right, Dave, just be aware you're probably going to get attacked when we go outside. Oh. Nope, that was that book again, doing a really good impression of a box of bullets. Nope. So far, so good. Wow, they really scattered. Okay, I see water on the counter. Oh, what more beans. Here's a thought, Dave. Holster that before you shoot something that you don't intend to shoot. Alright, cabinet's got nothing. More nothing. Even more nothing. Oh, tea. God, I haven't seen tea in forever. Okay, nothing up there. Nothing in here. I assume. Oh, more tea. Somebody definitely loved their tea. Um, okay, nothing on the shelf. Do we do the... Nope, we haven't done the fridge yet. And, of course, I screwed that up. Come on, Dave. Get a grip. There you go. 
Now, bullets, please. Or sneakers. No. Nothing around under the table. Ah, oh, you know what? I'll take the flare. I can always just drop it when we get back home. Nothing in there. Chunk of wood. Any matches? No matches. Not that we need them. I mean, we should be pretty much set for matches until the end of time itself. Now, sneakers. Tell me somebody in here has got some sneakers. This is not looking good. Sports socks I am not going to bother with. They will still be there when I come back, if I ever come back. Not seeing anything under the bed. Last chance for shoes. I could use this. Uh, you know what? Yes, I'll take it. I'm just going to go home and drop it anyway, but for now, I'll grab it. Ragged work pants. Uh, heavy duty jean, wearing post patches. I mean, it's kind of tempting. Now, you know what? No, it isn't. Okay, I'm not going to bother with the water. Nothing else here. Another friggin' flare. Picture of a deer. Don't need that. I gotta admit, I'm kind of disappointed. I really thought there would be sneakers or bullets or something at least remotely useful in there. Okay, are there... Oh, there actually is a house in town that we've not searched. Actually, there's two of them. Hmm. And we do know it's kind of quiet at the moment. Alright, well, you know what? We might as well carry on searching. Actually, are there any sneakers in the car? Nope, of course not. Yeah, I'm hearing a lot of howling. Hopefully they're not coming back. Okay, good morning. You guys don't mind if I come in and search your house, do you? Please tell me you've got some bullets. No, David, sardines, trust me. They are not food. Wonder if this is any good to eat. Okay, well, we got a little tomato soup. We got that and that. I'm actually surprised at how much stuff I'm finding in these cabinets. I thought pretty much everything had despawned at this point. Alright, well, that wasn't terrible. Sewing kit will always take. Wonder if there's any shoes in here. No, there's a newspaper in there. No, I don't want that. Um. Nope. This will come in handy. Tell you what, if I wanted pants, I'd be laughing right now. I don't want pants, I want shoes. I need shoes. Preferably sneakers. No. No, freaking ragged t shirt. I tell you what, if you don't want shoes, that's all you find. Nothing in here, nothing in here. Alright, this has been kind of a waste of a time. I mean, we did get a fair bit of food, which is nice, but. Oh, spray paint's completely bloody useless. Alright, I'll tell you what, we'll take some firewood too. That's never unwelcome. Come on. Please. This stuff will come in handy. No, no it won't, Dave. It's not shoes. I need shoes. Like lots and lots of shoes. Oops. Oh, I forgot. This one you gotta go down off the weird little porch. It's starting to get a little bit foggy out here. Can't say as I like that very much. Oh, you know what, Dave? You're probably not gonna run very far or very fast. Where the hell did the Quonset Hut go? Right, that's the other house. There's the Quonset Hut. I'm just gonna jump in the hut real quick. We're gonna see if there's any sneakers in there. Now. Empty, empty. Oh, fuck. Uh, oh, I haven't gone to the medicine cabinet either. Could end up being useful. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you for reminding me, game. Yes, we need to craft bandages desperately. I have been walking around with none on me for ages. So, yes, please craft two at least. Thank you very much. Now, let's get out of here. Oh, that's just stump remover, whatever the hell it is in that bag. 
And let's just go have a quick look in this house because it seems to be the only game left in town. Assuming I can find it. Is that it right there? Is it? Ah, oh, so disorientating in the fog. You know what? We'll just stick our heads in. Hopefully it's the house we haven't searched yet. And hopefully maybe there's some sneakers in here? Alright, well we've definitely not searched it yet. Because it's food. Dave, it's fine. It's all food. And, in fact, it was the only food in the entire kitchen. I was going to say, unless there was a surprise in the stove, there was not. Okay, matches we'll take. Not seeing shoes. Quick search of the cabinet. Dave does not sound like he's feeling all that great. He's kind of wheezing and gagging up here. I think I can use this. You can't. What you can use is sneakers. I hate to be repetitive, Dave, but that's kind of the goal here. Nothing in, nothing. Whoop. Oh, and we could also use bullets, but I suspect we probably aren't going to find any more of those. Hallelujah. Holy crap, that was exactly what I wanted. Okay, anything else in here at all? Another bandage, yes it will. Um, water I'm not going to worry about, we got plenty. Okay, speaking of water actually, we could probably use a drink. Even better, let's just have a couple of sodas and get some calories as well. There we go, Dave. That should sort us out. Now, can we find the road and get home before it gets too foggy? I have no idea, if I'm honest. I don't know which direction the road is in. Aha! Road is this way. And I must weigh a friggin' ton because I have got zero sprint. Oh, Dave, don't start yawning at me. You sounded a little bit like a wolf just then. Alright, well, on the plus side, the fog cleared up, and that was actually a pretty quiet walk home. On the downside, it looks like it's going to snow, and I have a sneaking feeling it's going to turn into a blizzard. And I kind of hope it doesn't, because I really, really, really want to find that bear before we vacate this map. Okay, new dawn, new day, let's have a drink. We'll go out and check the weather really quick. Hopefully it's nice. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that. I don't remember if I mentioned at the beginning of the episode or not, but I've actually got quite a bad cold. And yeah, all this talking is starting to make my throat get really itchy. Alright, well, tell you what. Let's go see if we can find ourselves a dead bear. Alright, well, there's something dead up there, but I think that's actually a guy leaning up against a tree. Oh, for God's sakes, we didn't kill him? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Dude, I shot you like eight times. Seriously. Well, I tell you what, I've got an idea. Now, I didn't say this was a good idea. Just that it's an idea. So right about... There, maybe? Actually, let's make sure we get the shot lined up. There we go. Way short. Hold still, bear. Still way short. Um, I don't know how many arrows I've got. I'm probably wasting them. Oh, nope. That got his attention, at least. I still cannot believe we didn't kill him. Come here. Come here, I want you. I really want you now. Yes. Come on, then. I am going to shoot you in the face. Yeah, 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 I know. You're not happy. Alright, come here. 
bears are very slow. I know, I know. Okay, did I get you that time? Um. Right Nass. <laughs> oh, that never gets old. Okay, you know what? Reload the gun. Yeah, we definitely gotta get out of here. We're almost out of bullets. Okay, holster the gun. Pick up your two bullets. Now, we're gonna do what we should have done last time. We are going to actually check and see how many bears I've killed. Alright, 228 taken, 120 hit. So I'm actually over 50%, which is kind of nice. Now, bears killed, 9. Wait a minute, wasn't that... I'm going to have to actually check the last episode, because I'm pretty sure... It was, well, maybe, might have actually been the episode before that, but... Oh, you know what? You should probably actually try and figure out what the bear is before you go wandering out here, all fat, dumb, and happy, Dave. Anyway, as I was saying, I think in either the last episode or the one before it, I shot that bear and I checked the stats then. Well, I tell you what, it looks safe enough, so let's head back, and hopefully this time, he'll friggin' die. I tell you what, Dave, how about for a consolation prize, we grab the hide off of this fella, if we haven't already. We have not. Yeah, we'll just take his hide. Like that. There we go. Yeah, his hide can be, like, second prize. Oh, hello, and we got Harvesting Master, which is even better. Uh, I think when we get to town, and by town I mean the little village up there, I think when we get there, there's something else I want to go check, because I've had a bit of a stupid idea. And yeah, granted, stupid is kind of very much my wheelhouse, but... This is, like, really stupid, even by my standards. Now, real quick, let's go over here to this crafting table. I'm kind of curious exactly what you have to have to make the stuff you need to make bullets. So, we should be able to do... Be in here. I know it's not closed. I know it's not in there. I know it's not in there. Okay, nope, we make arrow. I must have to do all of that at the uh, gunsmithing place. Uh, yeah, I was thinking it might actually be worth it to head over and maybe try and make bullets now. Alright, well, I think I'm going to head back to the ice hut and do a little pondering. Okay, yeah, we have to take the scrap lead to the ammunition workbench. And to make gunpowder, we need a stump remover, a dusting sulfur, two charcoal, and also an ammunition workbench. Okay, gunpowder takes 30 minutes. Six bullets takes an hour. Um, I don't think so. Yeah, that does not seem like it would be worth the trip. I mean, it is tempting, but if I'm going to go to a map I've not really been to before, I'd actually probably lean more towards Blackrock. I mean, it's pretty good odds we are going to find some bullets there. I don't know, though. I don't know if there's a lot of places like outdoors to sleep or not. Uh, tell you what, I'll have to have a think about it. My kitten just meowed right beside my chair and jumped the ever-loving hell out of me. Okay, I didn't see any sign of him up to this point, so I'm going to play a little Sherlock Holmes. Unless that's him over there. Actually, hold on. Let's deal with the wolf first, and then we'll do the detective work afterwards. Come here, numbskull. I don't want to get that much... Ugh, you know what? Did I get you? I got you. That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. Okay, Dave. I was talking. You interrupted me. Now I'm going to have to edit all of that out. There's going to be a nice long silence. As I was saying... Um, I think where he took so long to die that he actually probably went back on his patrol route. Oh, this one's still intact. Now, I they would all be... Something. No, you don't. You need to friggin' stop interrupting me is what you need to do. Yeah, all the arrows should be on a straight line between here and that ice hut. Because each time I shot it, I got progressively closer to him. Oh, wrong ice hut. Well, crap. No wonder I'm not finding him. Okay, there's one. I can see it from here. 
I still can't tell if that's the bear or if it's just a rock. Oh, I see the other one too. Okay. Yeah, they would have made a nice line. That one's intact, and that one's intact. Excellent. Also, it looks like there might be a dead wolf over there. Okay, anyway, as I was saying, I think he might have gone back on his patrol route, which means he probably died somewhere between his cave, that village, and then he kind of wanders down alongside the road until he ends up down there, and then he comes walking back over. So if that's not his corpse right there in front of us, we'll kind of follow that line and see if we can find him. Okay, that's starting to look more and more like the bear. It also still kind of looks like a rock, but nope, that's definitely the bear. Okay, we found him. And there is a dead wolf over here too, which I'm assuming is the one I shot outside the dock way back at the beginning of the episode. Holy crap, buddy, you're a big boy. How heavy are you? Oh god, 40 kilos of meat, and all I'm taking is one hide. Thank you, Mr. Bear. Enjoy your sleep. Would you like to be the thumbnail? I swear this one deer right here is suicidal. Yeah, there you go. Take off. You see how he did that little slow, like, pause before he started running again? And that's like the second time I've walked right up on him. Oh, there's another one behind me. Yeah, second time I've walked right up on him. I mean, I could shoot him from here with a bow and arrow like nothing. In fact, I'm half tempted. Yeah, take off. That's probably the smartest thing you've done today. Well, hello. What the hell are you doing over here? Wolves don't come over here. You and I are going to have to have words. There's my side of the argument. And I tell you what, I think I won. Okay, well, I think... I'm going to actually end the episode here, because I'm pretty much out of recording time. Oh, I should probably get my gun out, just in case there's another uppity wolf over here. Anyway, yeah, I'm out of recording time, and quite frankly, I have no idea how long this episode's going to be. But it was pretty action-packed, most of it. I mean, it took bloody forever, but we did get the bear. So, yeah, as always, I have been Digby. I thank you guys for stopping by. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode of The Long Dark. And yeah, I hope to see you for the next one.